1200 meters we're almost set bipod time here at turfentain they're ready and they're off and racing woman of power didn't get the best of jumps must have lost just a little bit over there maybe half a length or so and it's inclined to over race a little bit in the early stages but Mia Barker began the best of all as the early leader from Arctic Commander racing second, Rugger Lovers third, then Whirly Bird and Woman of Power racing together, and they're about three to four lengths off the leader. Two back to one religion. Further back was Happy Mo, who I think also didn't get the best of starts, and Azimuth is the trailer, about seven or eight lengths off the leader. With 700 metres to go, and it's Mia Barker that led them down the strip here from Arctic Commander in second, Rugger Lover. Woman of Power is back and forth. The Black Sleeves and Cap got three lengths to make up Whirly Bird then One Religion tracks those leaders about five off them with along the inside Happy Mo entering the last 400 metres now and Arctic Commander picks up the lead Woman of Power is trying to build up down the centre of the track and coming home smartly Mia Barker's towards the inside then came Whirly Bird and One Religion but it's now Woman of Power with 200 to go is kicked about two three lengths clear of Whirly Bird back in second who tries to close it in Woman of Power Whirly Bird though is making a race of it on the outside and here comes Whirly Bird to end it going away. Whirly Bird by two lengths from Woman of Power. Then came in third placing Happy Mo. And in fourth, One Religion. Further back, Arctic Commander, Rugger Lover. Then Mia Barker. Further back in the field was Azimuth. Was last across the line. Here's a look at the head-on replay. Well, here's a Woman of Power in the colours of the gels. This is owned by Stephen and Jessica. Gel hit the front, but no sooner had she hit it, the front than Whirly Bird was pulled out for a run by young apprentice Yanda Sosiba, who rode this brilliantly. Whirly Bird, well done to the Hollywood Syndicate, to Ridgemont Highlands, the winning breeders, the daughter of Canford Cliffs. Out of the Fastnet Rock uh, mare is home, Whirly Bird has won race number two on the card at five rand 30 a tote win and one rand 60 a place the favorite second number eight woman of power is back in second then came six happy mo who i don't think got the best of starts and then one religion in fourth well yes yanda that was great stuff to win going away like that well done uh thank you very much sir just a big thank you to mr Binder. going into the race he gave me pretty simple instructions just uh, sit till the 500 squeeze and then 400 just press and I did exactly that and the horse just never stops. You must be very excited about your career now that you're now one and a half, right? Yes, 100%. I'm uh, just uh, my first winner as a one and a half is just, I'm feeling delighted. No pressure. You see, it doesn't matter. There you go. You still ride winners. <laughs> 100%, sir. Just a big thank you to Mr. Binder again and uh, hold on to the owners, Hollywood, and uh, Big thank you to the Academy and the Riding Masters. And thank you to my sponsors, Eversham Park Farm. Sianda, is there something else we should consider today that you looked at? Uh, I, uh, this was my only... Your last ride. ride. Good ride. Well done. Good day in the office. Thank you very much. Well sir. done. And of course, the same applies for Clinton Binder. What a, that's a nice day in the office for you. Just a couple of range. I see you got a check in the first. Uh, you ran fifth, didn't you? And uh, some money to take home here. Yeah, no, thank you very much. Uh, firstly, I must thank Ridgemont. This is a, a Ridgemont Hollywood um, lease deal. And um, thank you for their support. They sent me this filly and um, I'm very happy they did. Uh, you know, last time she ran second in Durban and I thought maybe she just over raced a little bit. That's why I brought her back to the six. I actually, to be quite honest, I scratched her from this race. They phoned me back and, um, and said uh, they're short of runners. So I looked at it and then I saw the guy with a two and a half kilo claim. I think I'll take that as my advantage because I didn't think I could beat the Coxwells. And then he went and lost a kilo of that. So maybe a bit worried, but um, he wrote to instructions. So that's the main thing. But anyway, thank you to Ridgemont. Thank you to Hollywood. Thank you to everybody concerned. My, my good friend, Craig Carey, Craig Kizerter, Julia, uh, you know, I, Wayne, and um, I, I can't thank them enough for the support that they've given me. Clinton, it was quiet for a little while, but you've come back to great form now. You know, like I said the other day on, um, in Durban, it's, you know, our horses got very sick this year and I lost quite a good horse. And um, I, just, I just think it took a long time for the horses to get healthy again, you know what I mean? So, um, and uh, our string has also shrunk quite a bit, but um, yeah, they, they, they're doing well and please God, may it last. Well done, and there's a lovely check for you to take home. There you go. Thank you, and From thank you to the apprentice. Thank you so much. There we go. Clinton Binder's got a five grand check as a winning trainer. Your hunt took home the first one in the first. Clinton's now taken the second one as well. And there's a 1,500 rand check. Uh, there we go. Clinton, well done to the winning groom as well. 1,500 rand uh, sponsored this afternoon. That takes care of racing in terms of the first two. The bipods, uh, I suppose we managed to survive and get through. Perhaps that favourite was a little unlucky, a little slow, got to the leader as they turned for home and then became a little tired at the end. But well done to the winner.